It's no secret that movie props can fetch tons of dough. Imagine what something iconic like Luke Skywalker's original lightsaber or Dirty Harry's first 44 Magnum is worth on the open market. Of course, studios are going to keep a close eye on movie memorabilia, but those studios are competing against an actor's sentimentality. For the most part, an actor doesn't care about a film prop's monetary value, they just want to keep a souvenir or piece of memorabilia that reminds them of the time they spent in character making that film. Here are some super sneaky actors who stole film props from movie sets. Number 10. Chris Hemsworth. Avengers Infinity War has been a hit at the box office, raking in more than $3 billion in less than two months. The third Avengers movie brings together cast members from different Marvel movies, including Chris Hemsworth in the role of Thor. Hemsworth has gone on record as saying that fans who were surprised by the Infinity War cliffhanger will be even more shocked when Avengers 4 is released in 2019. While his teaser may or may not come to fruition, Hemsworth has engaged in shocking behavior of his own, the actor has swiped several of his character's iconic hammers from film sets. Rather than express remorse, Hemsworth noted that coming clean publicly about his kleptomaniac tendencies has made it more difficult to steal additional props because the crew is now on the lookout for him. Number 9. Gareth Edwards. One of the biggest Star Wars plot holes deals with how easily Luke Skywalker destroys the infamous Death Star in the final movie of the original trilogy, Return of the Jedi. George Lucas initially explained the oversight as the result of the Empire's ego, but 2016's Rogue One imagines a much different scenario in which the plans of the Death Star are stolen by rebels. The fictional heist of the Death Star plans was mirrored by the theft of the movie's prop in real life. Gareth Edwards served as the movie's director and is an open fan of the Star Wars franchise. He took his fanboy impulses to the next level while directing Rogue One and made off with the plans delivered to Princess Leia in the movie. Number 8. Ian McKellen. The Lord of the Rings trilogy brought the books by J.R.R. Tolkien to life and made nearly three billion worldwide in the process. The epic fantasy traces the journey of Frodo Baggins and his companions as they seek to destroy an evil magical ring. The series continues the earlier journey of Frodo's uncle, Bilbo Baggins. If it were up to Ian McKellen, Bilbo would have difficulty getting into his house. McKellen played the role of Gandalf the Wizard and continued a decades-long tradition of absconding with props from his movies. In addition to Gandalf's sword, McKellen also permanently borrowed the keys to Bag End, the home of Bilbo Baggins. Director Peter Jackson was aware that the keys had been taken but did not know the identity of the culprit. McKellen worked hard to keep it a secret and maintain his streak of stealing from every job he takes. Number 7. Mark Wahlberg. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the name, Dirk Diggler? Mark Wahlberg could not resist taking the prosthetic penis from Boogie Nights, the one that audiences finally get a glimpse of at the end of the film, after hearing so much about it. The actor fessed up for what he contends is the only prop he's ever stolen, during an interview on Late Night with Seth Meyers, he said you have this weird guy putting it on you. You have to wear it all day. There's not a way to go to the bathroom or anything like that. And what was it like to wear such a large prosthetic? You'd sit down and the thing would bounce up. So the first one did not work, everybody thought it was ridiculous. Number 6. Will Ferrell. So, technically this is not stealing because Ferrell got permission from the props department. The actor now houses the prosthetic testicles from the underrated 2008 comedy Step Brothers, a prop he says cost about $10,000 to make. Farrell gloated about the prop on The Dan Patrick Show, You Know What I Have, which is one of my treasured keepsakes is from Step Brothers, he said. My pair of prosthetic testicles that I put on the drum kit. I will often bring those out at dinner parties that we host. Number 5. Dakota Johnson. Fifty Shades of Grey is one of those books that nobody admits to reading, but has still somehow been read by pretty much everyone, though the movie is slightly more watered down than the source material, the same applies to filmgoers. Behind the scenes, however, the actors don't seem to be bothered by the material whatsoever, going so far as to steal some of the props from set no matter how saucy they may be. For example, star Dakota Johnson ended up stealing one Christian Grey's floggers from set. Though it's not necessarily the sort of prop that most people would feel comfortable casually having around the house, Johnson told Glamour that she took it anyway. Then again, considering that it's in the garage and covered in dust may take away from the shock value. Number 4. Rupert Grint. In the Harry Potter series, Ron Weasley is as innocent as they come. Does he sometimes have a knack for ignoring authority? 
Sure. But what more can you expect from someone whose brothers are Fred and George Weasley, and whose best friend is Harry Potter? All things considered, he deserves some credit. During the 10-year production that was the entire Harry Potter series, Ron actor Rupert Grint felt the urge to not leave the set empty-handed, and according to an interview with the Daily Mail, he parted ways with what might easily be the least magical object in the entire series, the number 4 plaque from the Dursleys' home. In another interview with Hunger TV, he admitted to also stealing the golden egg from the Goblet of Fire. Warner Brothers might have let the plaque slide, but considering how expensive the egg was, they eventually had no choice but to ask for it back. Number 3. Norman Reedus. Actor transformations can make or break a movie or television show. In The Walking Dead, Andrew Lincoln's transformation thankfully leans towards the former. It's a subtly rugged transformation just intense enough to make fans of love actually not realize that he's the same guy who creepily stalked Kira Knightley's character. Aside from some gritty makeup, the biggest change necessary to transform Lincoln into his character Rick Grimes came from his beard. According to a Yahoo interview with Norman Reedus, the remains of said beard now reside in his refrigerator. After Lincoln's character had to have his beard shaved off during an episode, Reedus collected the remains in a Ziploc bag and stored them away for safekeeping. Clearly this example of set theft leans more along the lines of creepy than criminal. Number 2. Andrew Garfield. When Andrew Garfield took over for Tobey Maguire and swung into screens as the new Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man, he brought some necessary freshness into the role. As it so happens, he also took something from the role as well when filming was finished. During an interview with Radio 1, Garfield admitted to sneaking the costume off set though he didn't think it would be too much of an issue, considering how many copies of the suit existed for filming. He said, I may have stolen one and it may be in my luggage, it may be in my hotel room luggage. It may even be in my backpack in the car. It's possible. While it's not exactly the noble move for superheroes to go from saving to stealing, Garfield gets a pass, considering he never even got to finish out the rest of the series. Before we get to number 1, if you liked this video please show your gratitude by hitting the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. We bring new videos every week. Number 1. Robert Downey Jr. Okay, so Downey didn't five-finger the 30-foot A from Stark Tower shown in 2012's The Avengers. However, he did jokingly ask for it. The Tony Stark star has every other actor beat when it comes to stealing from set, as the prop that he went home with was the 30-foot A from Stark Tower. According to an interview with Simon Mayo of BBC Radio 1, Downey Jr. went all out with his movie memorabilia. To be fair, he didn't steal this prop, but considering its magnitude of this example, it earns a place on this list. Downey Jr. jokingly mentioned to the crew that he needed it in his Venice office, so they went ahead and let him have it. That's it for this list. If there are any we have missed that should be on this list please drop us a comment and we will include it in the next one. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making it for you.